This video is brought to you by Koenig Equipment in Anna, Ohio. And today we're going to take a look at the Generation 4 4600 Command Center display and talk about some of the audio settings as well as setting up Bluetooth. In order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and go to the menu. And we can see we have both an audio icon and a phone icon in tractor settings. So we'll go to audio first. And this feature is currently unavailable because the radio is currently turned off. So we'll go ahead and turn the radio on and we can see everything's lit up now. So we have several options that we can set up the radio for. So we can see we're currently set up for broadcast radio, which is FM. We also have the ability to play a CD. We have XM radio. We can also plug a USB stick in to the radio. We also have an auxiliary connection that we can use. And we also have Bluetooth capability. So if we have Bluetooth on our phone and we have music loaded to our phone, we can play that wirelessly through the Bluetooth to the radio. So if we're selecting radio, we can see we have FM1, FM2, AM, and weather band. We can seek by pressing the triangle with the line, we can also tune our radio using the single icons there. So once we have a radio station selected out that we want to listen to, and we want to save that as a preset, we can simply hold the preset that we want. We'll get a little sound to indicate that that's been added and we can see that's been added to our presets for FM1. Also within the radio we have advanced settings where we can set our equalizer for our bass, our mid, and our treble. So we can adjust those up and down with the plus and the minus areas as we choose. We can exit out and that will take us back to our main audio page we can exit out again. Also on the console we have radio icons that we can use here for mute, turning the speaker up and down and also adjusting our radio station. Next we'll talk about how to connect the Bluetooth. So we'll go to menu and we'll select phone. Ensure that you have the Bluetooth discoverability turned on on your device and then we'll simply hit pair device. So it should give you a pairing code that you can enter into your phone. And then we may have to wait just a little bit here once we put that pairing code in the phone for everything to connect. So we can see our pairing is complete and this window is going to close out. So now we can see our phone's connected. We can dial numbers straight through the phone. We can see our battery life and our signal strength. And we also have favorites and recent calls. We can see we have no recent calls. The reason we don't have any recent calls is it is connected to the phone, but it stores the recent calls within the tractor and also favorites within the tractor. So if I go to favorites, it's not going to show me the favorites that are on my phone. So I would actually have to add these to the tractor and then they would be favorites for the tractor in any phone you want to connect with. So I can go to add favorite and I'll actually have to plug in a first name and a last name so if I want to put myself in here as an example, I 
then I can put my number in. Hit OK. Then I can choose that as a mobile, office, or home. And hit save and they will be paired as a favorite for the Bluetooth in this tractor. So we can also mute the phone and turn the volume up and down. So we also have the ability if we go into the advanced settings of clearing the favorites and clearing the call history. So we'll go ahead and exit out of there and exit out of there. So that is how we set up Bluetooth and adjust audio settings on the 4600 Command Center.